There, there's a reason why Fox is killing it in the ratings and laps everyone else. The Views' Meghan McCain went on a wild rant about being the only conservative in mainstream media. Now, this rant, as you're going to see, is largely nuts, but she does accidentally hit on a point that I think is true. So I will get to that. First, here is the clip. I am the token conservative in media, in mainstream media. I'm the only conservative woman in all of media. And the reason why is there a, there is a token is because the mainstream media only feels like there needs to be one on a show like this. That, that one person out of five represented means that there's enough conservative media coverage. What I have found interesting working in what I consider liberal media is not the stories that we talk about, but the stories that we don't talk about. There's been a lot of stories like, for example, we've never once talked about Hunter Biden as a hot topic on this show. Whereas Ivanka Trump or Donald Trump Jr. cough in the wrong direction, and it probably would have taken up the first two blocks. So I, I think it's really interesting. I don't agree with the, the, the stories that Fox said. They should obviously do a correction. I think John Roberts is one of the best reporters out there, hands down, uh, across the board. I disagree, like vociferously, with that, with what you said, Sonny. And I also, you know, it. It's interesting because my my husband and I, uh, you know, exist in, in our whole world is conservative media. He founded and runs one of the most influential and highly trafficked conservative websites on the Internet. And the reason why these outlets like this need to exist is because everything else is liberal everywhere else. There, There's a reason why Fox is killing it in the ratings and laps everyone else. It's because it seems like it's rigged. It's rigged every place else that you know that people on CNN, you think Jim Acosta, isn't an activist. I don't have any trust in people on CNN anymore. So I, I just, I take uh, such umbrage at, at, at this entire concept that liberal media, which runs all of media, all of tech, all of entertainment, all of music, all of culture, all of politics, all three branches of government, I'm supposed to feel bad because there's two things from Fox News that have like, have been inaccurate. I mean, let's go down the list every day of the things that are inaccurate on CNN and MSNBC, and then we can talk about fairness in the media. Now, it may be hard to find, but there is actually a small nugget of truth in what Meghan McCain said here, though not in the way that she said it. Now, before I get to that, let me just go over the majority of this insanity. So she says here, quote, I am the token conservative in mainstream media. The token conservative, as if she's one of the only ones. Fox News is mainstream media. She even goes on to explain how Fox News kills everyone else in the ratings. So if you have a cable news station that has better ratings than the other networks, how is that not mainstream? That is mainstream. That is mainstream media. Fox News is mainstream media. This idea that she's one of the only conservatives in mainstream media is completely absurd. Now, it's also absurd even when you apply it to CNN and MSNBC. There is not a single socialist or communist host on any cable news network. They are all economically conservative. They are all neoliberals. So yes, you may say, oh, but they support gay rights. They are uh, pro-science. Yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> so they're pro-humanity. Culturally, sure, maybe they're liberal. That's a good thing. The idea of complaining about there not being more uh, xenophobes, more homophobes, more anti-science uh, cable news hosts on television is completely ridiculous. But that must be what she's arguing here, because in terms of the economics, there is no left-wing host on television who is who is who is, who is actually a, a left-wing when it comes to economics. So I don't even know what she's arguing there. Clearly, mainstream media is dominated by conservatives. Now. When we get to um, this next quote here, we've never talked about Hunter Biden as a hot topic on the show, whereas Ivanka Trump or Donald Trump Jr. caught in the wrong, uh, cough in the wrong direction and it would take up the first two blocks. Ivanka Trump had a prominent White House role. She was a public servant while she was being criticized by the mainstream press. Hunter Biden doesn't have a White House role. Hunter Biden was simply Joe Biden's son while he became a topic of conversation in conservative media uh, late last year. So there is clearly a, a, a difference there. Notice how no one, nobody anymore talks about Ivanka Trump because she has no position of power. Ivanka Trump was a topic because she had a position of power. When it comes to Don Jr., he wasn't in the White House, 
but he kept putting himself in front of cameras on television saying dumb shit. So when you're on television you're go and saying dumb th shit, you're going to be covered. So that's why these two were covered and Hunter Biden wasn't. The whole Hunter Biden story really blown completely out of proportion, had nothing at all to do with uh, the current administration or, or, or Joe Biden while he was running. It was all about uh, the role that he clearly had because he was Joe Biden's son. Fine, you can complain about that, but that was eight years ago or, or four years ago. Who cares now? Like that has that has that had nothing to do with the election that was going on, and has nothing to do with with, with what's going on right now. Hunter Biden has no position of power. Next quote here: "There's a reason why Fox is killing it in the ratings and laps everyone else." As I said earlier, um, part of it is that yes, Fox News is mainstream, even though Meghan McCain wants to say otherwise. But this is why Fox News is so popular. According to Nielsen data in 2017, this is not the most recent data, but this is a clear trend. CNN's median age was 60, while the median age of the Fox News and MSNBC viewer was 65. The good news for CNN and Fox News, they each aged down one year from 2016 when CNN median age was 61 and Fox News was 66. The average age or the median age of the cable news viewer is 60 to 65. This is why Fox News dominates. Boomers lean more conservative than younger generations. Younger generations are not, are not watching cable news. They're online. So this is why Fox News dominates the cable news ratings, because the people that are watching cable news are older. Now, any more here? <laughs> so last quote I'll, I'll touch on before I get to the nugget of truth in this rant. She said here, I'm supposed to feel bad that Fox News has like two things that have been inaccurate. I don't think I even have to really respond to this. The idea that Fox News has only been wrong twice. Come on. <laughs> Come on. And yes, CNN and MSNBC also wrong a lot of the time. And it's largely because, like Fox News, they skew pro-corporate, pro-wealthy. And But Fox News goes further in terms of being anti-science, being xenophobic, being bigoted. So they're, they're, um, the things they get wrong go even further than that. But now let me get to the, the nugget of truth here. Are liberal views overrepresented in culture? Yes. I think that's clear. That's undeniable. But when I say liberal, I mean neoliberal. I mean pro-deregulation, pro-private enterprise, pro-austerity, pro-markets, anti-state intervention. I'm, I don't mean, you know, pro-Bernie Sanders. Liberal d is not left-wing. Left-wing is not liberal. And getting back to the point of... <laughs> conservatives and media was there a single cable news host that supported bernie sanders was there a single member of the view that backed bernie sanders during the democratic primary either in 2016 or 2020 joy behar j joked about it a couple times but she never actually really supported bernie sanders there is so when we're talking about the views here and bernie sanders was just fighting for social democracy not not an actual socialist so when we're talking about what is overrepresented in media, it is conservative views, economically conservative views. Again, you can debate the, the cultural perspectives, but sure, yes, people are more liberal in terms of cultural views in, in, main, in mainstream media, and I think that's a fantastic thing. I don't want there to be more bigoted, more xenophobic, more anti-gay, more anti-science people on television. I think this is a view that anybody with a clear uh, level head should be able to uh, to to, to uh, take on here. So on that point, when we're looking when we're looking at what's represented in, in media and what's represented in, uh, you know, on the view, we are looking at issues that the vast majority of people, when it comes to Medicare for all, when it comes to higher taxes on the wealthy, higher taxes on corporation, infrastructure spending, just in general, progressive positions, the vast majority of people support those issues. You look at any poll, the vast majority of people support all the things I just listed. Yet everything I just listed is not the vast majority of cable news hosts or of mainstream media. And it's because we're talking about massive corporations that own this space. So it's not an accident that there isn't a single socialist on television it's because these are corporations. Why would they hire somebody who wants to get rid of them? 
So, but understand here, that is why there are certain views represented and others are not. 